we've all had shows that didn't go the way we planned. So have you ever had a show that you were like, oh no, like something bad happened? So the men's out girls, we have weak bladders even before childbirth. So okay. um, like when you pee? Yeah, I mean, when like you, when you um, laugh? Like you okay. laugh, yeah. <laughs> and then so. <laughs> I meant when yes, you laugh. When you <laughs> and then if you're singing a lot, you know, you're drinking a lot of water. So um, if something happens to me on stage really funny that takes me by surprise, I just yeah. have no, there's no way. And I've, I've peed and then my That's wonderful amazing. friend, Joby Horgan, who is my dresser for all Broadway shows, she's been with me. In Wicked once, I had black tights, opaque black tights on underneath the big gown. I peed in them and the tights just sopped it all up. And then I got off stage and I was like, yes! And I handed my friend, who oh. I love so much, who does not deserve to take love. urine filled tights to the. Dude, but I. Candace is right back here. My <laughs> stylist, like, she is laughing right now at the things that have happened in quick changes. It's so gross, but yeah. she is my best friend. I would do anything for her, especially because she handled yeah. my urine. Stained yeah. fight. But, um, and then I went back out commando and I sang Defying Gravity, you know? <laughs> yeah! Oh my I was God. like, oh! Oh my God. Oh my God. That's amazing that that was the song. Speaking of in person, Broadway is back. So Broadway is I know. back. Yeah. I know. They have to be excited. Everybody's been out of work, so there's that. But also just the creativity. I feel like that is like the the yeah. lifeline of New York. Like it's like the blood flow for me. Yeah, at least I feel as a like, yeah. We're all like Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. We need applause to live. Uh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and our and our cast members were were waiting for a year and a half to be back up yeah. on that stage. And and I got to say, not only is Hamilton back. It's never been a better time to see a Broadway show because yeah. even the long-running shows have now had a rehearsal process. They had to start from scratch and put their wow. shows back up again. So I was at the reopening of Phantom yes, uh, a couple weeks ago, and yeah. it was just like unbelievable. Wait, I heard that he Andrew Lloyd Webber DJed after. Did you see that? Yeah, sure. Naturally. I think that that's amazing. AL dubs on the one and twos <laughs> when we left the and show. Yeah, look at him. There he is. <laughs> DJ AL dubs. So anyway, you are a substitute teacher. I didn't know yeah. that as well. After yeah, my, my first that. job out of college was teaching seventh grade English at my old high school. Wow. And yeah, it was amazing. What, it, what was like your favorite thing to teach? Uh, my favorite thing to teach was Shakespeare. Uh, we would teach A Midsummer Night's Dream. And they and, were into it? Yeah, because the thing is, Shakespeare's really boring when you have to read it, but if you have to act it, it's like the oh, best. Oh, you were a cool teacher. I was yeah. kind of a cool teacher, yeah. and I would, I had, um, you know, everyone would pick their names out, who they were playing that day, and girls played boys, oh, and boys see, played girls. Oh, see, that's fun, you act it out. And in acting it out, you understand yeah. it. Like, it's, it's like English slash drama class. Yeah, I like it was it. really, it was really fun, and I, you know, they offered me a full-time job, and I could, and I loved it. I truly loved teaching, and so I could see the Mr. Holland's Opus version of my life God, of like, I'll be here 30 years, and I'll inspire a lot of kids, and I'll never finish my play. And so and never... I ran, and so I basically was like, I can't teach full-time. I'm writing the show in the Heights. So yeah. I was a professional substitute teacher. Wow. I was basically a sub at my old high school until In the Heights. But you bet on, on yourself. Runway. You bet on yourself. I did. Dream, I did. Cool. And weirdly, um, my future brother in law was one of my students. Um, what? Yeah. Your life is weird. <laughs> weird. Wait, what? Yeah, he was um, he was a, he was still a junior when I was subbing. And then when I started dating uh, my wife, <laughs> he turns to his sister and goes, You're dating Mr. Miranda <laughs> from school? <laughs> Um, and now he's my brother. <laughs> oh my God. That's what a small world. Yeah. Give it up for Lorna Courtney of the Broadway musical Andrea. The musical features songs written by Max Martin, including Since You've Been Gone. Lorna is excellent. I love singing with you. Uh, Y'all got to check that out. So, Lorna, how's the show going? The show is going amazing, Kelly. Thank you so much for asking. Absolutely. We, this is a really exciting time because it is Tony Award season. Yeah, Woo yeah. So come on out. It's a party every single night on Broadway. Come to New York and see us. Woohoo! And there's so many hits. <laughs> that show is like, I don't think people realize how much Max Martin has done like in his career. So it's, it's an incredible amount of hits that you're gonna know when you go see the show. Thank you so much, Lauren. I enjoyed singing with you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Be Cynthia, have y'all ever met Cynthia, before? I have not, but I'm a huge fan. You were very popular at my house. My wife is a huge musical theater uh, oh. fan, and my daughter is a musical theater prodigy. And oh. she showed me your performance at the Tonys, which the consensus 
in the Polono household is it's the best Tony performance ever for color. Wow. I mean. So you're, wait, your daughter, you're pointing, your daughter is here. She's here, somewhere. Yes, uh, Skipping <laughs> school, there she is. Don't let the principal watch the you show. You have the coolest dad ever. I would <laughs> never <laughs> let my kids skip school. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> I'm a teacher's daughter. Uh, it's gotta be something really good. Um, that's amazing though. So you love to, you love to do musical theater? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing! What's your favorite musical? Like, what's your or what was like oh the first? Gosh, one? That's hard to decide. Oh gosh, oh, that was uh, the first <laughs> one I ever saw. Um. Oh, okay. Probably well, the first musical I ever saw, and I was like, oh my gosh, was I saw Hamilton with my mom, oh, with wow. the original Broadway cast, and it was just like the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So, what advice would you give to someone so young that wants to do musical theater? Um, have fun, first of all, is what I say, and um, I, I guess make sure you pick the shows that you really want to be in. Because those shows, you're in the eight shows a week, mm -hmm. six days a Ooh. week, for sure. That's commitment. You, yeah, you got to love it. If you don't love it when you read the script, there's, don't do it. Okay. Even if you're like playing a small character, you've got to still love it because you want to mm -hmm. be there with everybody. All the energy, you know, means something. Enjoy it, really, really enjoy it. I want to ask you this because you've done so much Broadway um, that you've forgotten your lyrics, right? I've heard that you kind of did on stage and people think <sighs> it's kind of a fun thing with you, right? Yeah, well, it's not. It's not a fun thing, that's a I, I'm bad at it. nightmare. It's, I know, I'm bad at it too. Are you, how are you at it though? Because here's my thing, somehow I will say something. It will somehow rhyme, it won't make sense, but it will somehow rhyme. So that's what you're taught to do. What's interesting is I did not do that. <laughs> I took the opposite approach and forgot the human language. <laughs> Forgot the entirety of our experience vocally as a collective species and just stopped talking oh my God. as the music was playing very loudly. It gets worse. The stage manager was screaming the line at me, going, you're making things up again. And all I heard was, eh. What? I had like tinnitus or something. I was a living Oh, you nightmare. had like a ringing? I had you like a ringing sensation. I've had that happen once it to was me. Like, it was like energy up above, got bored that day and was like, oh, let's play with Josh's <laughs> life. And I was like, this is insane. And then my co-star was screaming the line at me and I still couldn't say the line. I couldn't hear anything. And then, can I curse on what? your show? We'll bleep You'll it. You'll bleep it out yeah. good. This is how I got out of it, okay? Live theater, people paying $500 a ticket to see Book of Mormon. I looked out at my cast and said, what the is my next line? <laughs> I am a trained professional. Don't try that at all. But you know what? If I'm at that show, best experience ever. <laughs> but here's, here's the worst part. They, they were so confused they weren't even enjoying it. They were just like, this is, this is a very weird part of this show right now. That's Does this happen every night? This script feels like it needs work. And from that point on, in Book of Mormon, I actually, in the song, I had an actual Book of Mormon where I pasted the lines Oh. So that when I opened it up, I don't care now, I did it That's 10 years clever. ago, whatever. Whatever That's audience clever. you saw it after the fact. That's like you. Spoiler Sorry. alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I also wanted to bring this up too because um, our friend Ariana Grande, she's yeah. playing you in Glinda. She is. Yeah, as Glinda in, yeah. in Wicked, the movie. Yeah. So did she call you for advice? Like, have y'all talked? She didn't call me for advice. She was really nervous. She said, I, I want to pay homage to you, but I'm scared. I don't want you, I don't, I, I want to make you have proud. I go, well, you, you've already made me proud. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. You've check done that. That's achieved. That's yeah. achieved. Um, what I want to encourage you to do, Ariana, is make Glinda your Glinda. Sure, you can tap, tip your hat at me if you want, but really, I just want you to do you. I don't know why I'm so emotional today, because yes. I've known her since she was 10. I was going to say, yeah, because you, you noticed her a little yes, bit. Yes, and now I see the full circle. And you circle. know the full circle for her. I, found, I was with her when she found out, and she was crying. Yeah. We, th there was a cake for it. She yeah. was like, it was like one of her biggest dreams biggest was dreams. to do this. And she called me. She said, yeah. oh my God. It. I was like, yeah. and we, we sound like dolphins. I'm like, oh, you did? Oh my God. She goes, I did, I did. I was like, what, what, what? I mean, it just, <laughs> two dolphins talking. But I'm so like proud of her. And she calls yeah. me and she said, this is what I got to do today. And what do you think of that? And I'm just, I'm yeah. just so proud of her. I can't wait to see her do it.
I know, it's gonna be like an out of body experience for you though. It is. Just bringing that role to life, I you know? So, I can't yeah. wait. I love the original. I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with Me the character. Cause they've, they've lived for so long. So it's gonna be exciting to see. I know. And I just love that it's, it's Ariana and like what you mean to her and what it means to her. It's just a really cool thing when something right. like that happens in life and it's no. special and that, she appreciates it. She does. Yeah. She does and she'll, she just said, I'm gonna be freaking out. Kristen. I'm gonna be freaking out the that of the premiere. Maybe she doesn't do it. She does that little voice. She does. Maybe she'll do the accent. But she's like, oh, I'm really scared. I'm like, stop. I'm like, stop. You're gonna be great. Like my boyfriend's like, you too. Why did your voice change with her? Yes. <laughs> Is yes. it true that when you won, I just found this out that when you were nominated for your first Tony Award, you didn't even know what a Tony was? No, no, that's that's a true story. You know, the Tony Awards are the big prestigious uh, award that they give every year. Yeah. And you know, I got in this business for work. You know, I wanted a job. And I didn't go following award shows or things of nature, so I'm doing Jesus Christ Superstar. And the knock comes on the door and the guy says, Mr. Lorreen, you have an envelope. I said, give me the envelope. He goes like this. I said, give me the envelope. May says, no, this is the envelope. I said, yeah, yeah, give me that damn envelope. <laughs> so I take the it's envelope, mine. I'm reading it, right? And I'm, I'm re realizing it's from a guy named Tony. So, so I turned to this guy and I go, who's Tony? And why does he love me so and much? Why does he want? And then I read it and found out these are my peers yeah. who said, you got something. As a matter of fact, I have that letter today. There's tears on the, on the letter. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Because you, you wow. get it that, you know, you're in this, but you don't think about it because we do it because we love what we do. Yeah. You know, you, you know what you And do. you're just hustling, you're grinding, you're doing it. You're doing it. your thing. You're yeah. doing your thing. And then somebody says, hey, you got something. And I'm this kid from Brooklyn. I was like, wow, they like me. Oh, that it is cool. It's it's not about the awards. I always say that. Like no, it's, it's not, not about no, it, but it's about it is validating to like, you know, do all this hard work and then somebody be like, that was pretty good. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, your peers saying, yeah. yeah, you got something there. Did you so, always want to do Broadway? Were you always? Uh, I wanted to do employment. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah. I was looking to pay I, that electric I, bill. <laughs> I, didn't, I really didn't set out in my beginning to do Broadway because I didn't know what, what Broadway was all about. Yeah. I'm this kid from Brooklyn running around the streets, you know, learning how to dance and running from the cops, you know. Um, <laughs> it's a different <laughs> somebody movie. Knows. <laughs> somebody knows. And um, somebody said to me one day, you, why don't you go to the high school for performing arts? Yeah. And I said, okay, cool. And they said, where is it? He said, it's in Manhattan. In those days, you said Manhattan. I thought I needed a passport to get over to Manhattan. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, okay. And I would go to the school, and I see dancers for the first time. And That's I was so like, cool. wow. Wow, there's another world out here. It's called the arts. And it's I called opportunity, love. too, for kids that love the arts, you know? Yeah, That's yeah, a great opportunity. Yeah, Not some, every kid gets I that. I had some great people That's to cool. teach me and learn from some fantastic people. A woman named um, Dr. Rachel Yoakum. Yeah. Uh, was the principal of the dance department. She saw me there with all these dancers, and I was just sitting there with my, my Bermuda shorts on and my U.S. kids sneakers, my T-shirt, my little skinny brim hat, and I was sitting made up a little dance to Killer Joe by Quincy Jones. I'm yeah. sitting there, get up and do my little dance, and I get up in front of the people, and I, and I do my little da 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 and I thought it was very cool, right? But I didn't know the people sitting at the table were people like Martha Graham and George Balanchine and all the great people. Sometimes that ignorance time. is bliss. I didn't know who they were. They were just a bunch of white people. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Doing my thing, you know? And I come off people? stage and she said, uh, how'd you do? I said, I did all right. She said, what's your name? I said, Benjamin. She said, what? I said, Benjamin. She said, you mean Benjamin? I said, yeah, Benjamin, what's wrong with you? <laughs> do you? Do you hear me? <laughs> you know, I said, turn this thing on. <laughs> she said, would you like to go to school? I said, all right. I <laughs> here I am, folks. <laughs> I love that. Hey, I know you do like many other things, but do people still freak out? Like my thing is like everybody comes up and yells, "Ah, Kelly Clarkson!" Do people? <laughs> this is your Hamilton, <laughs> so it's like, do people always come up to you and are just like talking you nonstop about Hamilton? Because it was such a movement. I feel like when I was a kid and Rent came out, yeah. how popular that was. Now it blew up. That's what Hamilton is for this generation. It's just like enormous. It was that, and it, no, it was weird. You know, David used to say this thing. This I, I love that David used to say, right outside the stage door, you were a beetle for a block. 
You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> once you crossed 8th Avenue, it kind of died down, but at the, it, took, it took time to get used to getting recognized at the airport and yeah. stuff like that. I was, I'd be looking behind me, like, who are they looking at? Yeah. Um, but um, it was, you know, a huge phenomenon. It changed our lives. Yeah, you know the trajectory. I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've done the biggest show on Broadway, literally, but what was your first theater role? Do you remember? My very first theater role was in kindergarten. I played Martin Luther King in our Black what History. What a role. Yes, that's right. I started at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's we, all downhill from there. I know. We, I played Martin Luther King in our, in our Black History, you know, ceremony, and um, I took it very, very seriously. Um, the teacher, Miss um, Lewis, you know, she was she was really kind to the kids. It was like she wanted you to memorize it, but if you didn't, it was okay. She would like sit next to you and meld the words right before you had to say them. Because you're but like I, five. Right? That's right. Yeah. But I, I knew all my lines, all five of my. Yeah. Lines. Nothing. Yes. This is a, just one of the many reasons I should never be an actor. But yes, yes. But I can't retain like how y'all memorize all those lines because I did musical theater growing up and I I would almost like I mean sweaty pits. My stomach would hurt. Like yeah. I would just memorize that. I st I retain pretty well. I still might remember some of it. I mean I think it wow. was something like you know Martin Luther King had a dream. Something like that uh, was pretty <laughs> much. I think like everyone. That. That's so right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's amazing, I love yeah. you. She was a singer first. Yes. When she was younger, And when she whips that out, it's it's the best. Right. When we get to see like Mamma Mia or Into yeah, the Woods. Into the Woods, or, yeah. It's amazing, but yeah, she I did like two scenes with her in that movie, I was just too terrified the whole time to even really like take her in. I mean. But then she came to see um, Dear Evan Hansen, which was a show that I was doing uh, in New York. I saw that. <laughs> She came to see you. Were you so nervous? Completely. Like, I added, like, an extra voice lesson that week, like, a new haircut. Like, I really... Oh, my God. I got prepared, because I got warning that she was coming, so I I, I would not want to know. Oh, I have to know. But anyway, who else have you seen at your shows? She... Uh, show, yeah, yeah that, that show, everybody kind of started coming through. Yes. We had Hillary Clinton. We had, like, uh, Beyonce came. Oh, my which is, God. Like, I mean... What do, you, what do you do at that point? Oh, no. Look at her, just yeah. in her average day, still looking hotter just than the rest of us. Me slowly passing away. <laughs> just, <laughs> just completely. Is she like your, like, oh. she, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like the alien She's descended. She's a lot of people, yeah. She is, and I like saw her. That's another example where I really wanted to know she was there, because I'm looking in the audience, and you see just like the shape of her weave. Yeah. And just like, if yeah. I had spotted that, I think I would have just passed out. So I was happy to know exactly where she was going to be, and that she was coming. Oh, my gosh, you're so different. I would never remember that. So before Ted Lasso and Game of Thrones, you were doing theater, right? Yeah, God, yeah. for 20 years. Yeah, leading lady in the West End of wow. London and on Broadway. And um, yeah. Hey. Oh. I mean, do you miss it? I it's miss a lot it. of work. Kelly, my yeah. God, as a, as a singer, yeah. If somebody said to me, and you know, I, I don't mind who I admit it to, if somebody said you can never act again or never sing, sing again, there would be no competition. Singing is oh, in so my great. bloodstream, it's my catharsis, it's yeah. in my soul, and I miss it terribly. But this show but you seems sing to like, like getting me to do both. I know, I was going to say, you sing As like a football Lasso. club owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the karaoke thing and then the Christmas thing. Yeah, you've, you've sung on this show. Yeah. Sing, 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 sung. Yeah. Mm, sorry, Mom. Um, sung. Yeah, sung. <laughs> mm, sure. Uh, and we all sing here. That's actually amazing. I mean, kind of. I'm not singing on any West End stages, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not but... singing on West End, either. Yeah, Nobody like can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but is it true that you're going back to Broadway soon? I am, yeah. That's I was. I was doing a play right before the shutdown, and we were about oh. to open, but we're very, very, very lucky. Uh, the play's American Buffalo, which is a pretty famous American play, and it's just three guys, one room. I feel bad for the shows that are much bigger and didn't get sustained because there Can it is. Can we talk yeah. about the cast? There, yeah, the cast minute. ain't bad. <laughs> we got uh, like... Sam Rockwell and Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. Um, they really got some D-level people in there with you. <laughs> three, three knuckleheads I know, for I a knucklehead like, play. Good gosh, that cast is incredible. Yeah, I'm this very, is gonna very be lucky. so good. Yeah. I'm very excited. And again, we're very, very lucky because we did lo lose a lot of Broadway shows over the pandemic. So we'll be mm. back. And it's crazy. It's just like the Avengers Thanos snap. We literally are opening like the same day two years later. So it's just like, boop, yeah. okay, I guess it's now 2022. But we're very, very fortunate. So you'll have to come see the play if you're into seeing three guys yell at each other. If you're into seeing three incredible people on stage. Yeah, that's, I best. love the cast. Yes. It's so good. And I also love that you use Thanos in this interview. I, we yeah, could be I just kind of dropped that, yeah. I know, I'm just really into Marvel, but whatever, we're good. I feel like that was um, your demographic yeah, would we, understand it is, that it's me. It's my, de my demographic is what I was concerned yeah. about. <laughs> Next week, Broadway welcomes its newest star, when Talia 
Suskauer takes center stage at Elphaba in Wicked. It's a role made famous by Adina Menzel. Talia was so stoked when she first found out, she decided to surprise her vocal coach with the news in a video that's since gone viral, and you'll see why. Take a look. I'm gonna be Elphaba on Broadway. Whoa! <laughs> I told you when you were 12. I know you did. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Thank you, you're gonna have to come to New York. Oh, I will now, for sure. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank we'll be you. seeing you. It's I'm a very Broadway. musical show thus far. Yes, I love this. Well, congrats on the new role. It's Thank kind you. of a new role. I mean, you've been in the role for a while, but it's now you're on Broadway in the role. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which is wild. I mean, this is really a dream come true for me. I saw the show when I was nine oh my on Broadway. That's how long the show's been around. Yeah. I was always into musical theater and always very theatrically inclined and started taking voice lessons with this guy here, Craig Wick. Way to go, Craig! Way to go, Craig! <laughs> Like 12 years old, we started singing the music from Wicked, and um, he told me, you're gonna do this role on Broadway someday. Oh, wow. And I kind of held that dream in my heart, and with a lot of hard work, went to college for musical theater, and started playing the role on the national tour of Wicked, yeah. um, summer of 2019. And wow. Obviously, we had a pandemic in between, but some yeah. things happened. Some <laughs> yes, things happened. some things yes. happened, and uh, life shut down. <laughs> life shut down, and yeah. So you were surprised, but you kind of weren't because you kind of knew she was going to always do this. Well, Talia came to me like most young girls. They're, they're pressing their voice to produce these belt sounds, and we had to take the pressure off. <laughs> yeah. Get her to develop flow phonation, and yeah. what happened was she had this phenomenal operatic voice, which most yeah. people don't understand. She could be an operatic star at the Met. Those are the best singers though, <laughs> that are able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, then once yeah. you stabilize that larynx, then you just adjust the different harmonics. So she took to it, the belt the tunes to the second, third, and fourth harmonics, so she figured that out, and she, yeah. was, she was brilliant. And we, she, we, did, we did a Defying Gravity one day in the studio, and I just looked at her, my jaw dropped. I said, you're going to do this on Broadway. But I knew it. I knew, I knew it. I, I've told the story to many people thousands of times, and... And I knew it. She knew it. You know, I parts. love that. Well, y'all seen Wicked, obviously. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. You haven't seen Bridgerton yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're a little late to that game, too. Oh, don't come for us. Okay, Barlow and Bear, I see you down there. No, um, I didn't mean to run. That was amazing. Um, well, I am not the only one um, who's totally moved by Talia's video. There's someone backstage who wants to wish her good luck on her Broadway debut. So will that person come out? I just missed you at the Gershwin by like a week, a couple you weeks. Did. I'll come back. I'll come back. Please. I know I brought all those smelly prepubescent pre boys <laughs> to the show, and then you missed that. I'm so happy for you. And the advice that I would give, or that Kelly might give as well, is make sure you wear the black opaque tights underneath. <laughs> you got it. Just in case you're drinking a lot of water and someone makes you laugh and you have a and you pee in your pants, it, it you stops it up really good. Okay, and then good. You can just go right out there and fly. So no Can I just say the amount of times I have like sung to you in, in my car? It's just like, it's crazy. I'm just gonna hang out with you. <laughs> I love that her whole body turned towards I you like a whole. No, no, no. <laughs> you're okay, I'm stay turned. Kelly Clarkson you stay turned. Turn. You have your moment, ma'am. You stay turned. I'm just gonna come join you because Chris was like, you're out there on an no. island. And I was like, <laughs> no, I gotta say, I gotta ask her, 
do you remember your first time, like when you heard you got the role? Oh my God, yeah. And you didn't actually know the gravity, ha ha ha, defying uh. gravity. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even mean to do it. You didn't actually even know that, you keep yeah. your posture to face No, I was <laughs> messing with you. I was <laughs> messing with you. Um, no, do you remember that moment? You know, cause you didn't know how big it was gonna be. You didn't know what was oh, going on. Oh my God, I, yeah, no, it was incredible. We didn't know what it was going to be. It was different, but I just remember auditioning and working on it with my ex-husband actually, who was my best friend and I was learning to find gravity and I just knew I said this is something it just made me want to cry when I was practicing at home and and then when I got it I just I felt like yeah it was you just know when you're going to be a part of something you don't know how big it's going to be or whatever but yeah no, I'm so just glad that you're here and and you're and you're gonna extend that what am I trying to say <laughs> you know you know what it's such a big role right do you ever do you feel pressure there's been some alphabas right do you ever feel the pressure or, do, or you know what you should do you feel, feel like you have huge foot <laughs> <laughs> well, what I actually feel is the strength of all of the women that have played the part I before love, me. Okay, optimism. I like you. It's true. Okay. Because I get asked a lot, like, you know, people are coming to the theater, they're expecting, you know, to to hear the cast album. And I'm I'm never gonna be this incredible person right here, but I can be me and I walk in the footsteps of all these incredible women that have played this part and bring their unique strength to this, right? Yeah. It's just incredible. So yeah. Yeah.